not only affecting our personal lives, but also our businesses. You may be wondering, what if your business is disrupted? What about your contractual obligations, your deadlines, the goods and services that you agree to provide, the payments you agree to make? Well, contract law may have a solution in certain circumstances. The first thing you'll want to check is whether your contract has what we call a force majeure clause. Now this generally speaks to unforeseeable circumstances that prevent someone from performing their contractual obligations. Common examples include wars, riots, natural disasters. But does it include coronavirus? Not all force majeure clauses are made the same. You may have a general, specific, open-ended, or limited force majeure clause. So if your force majeure clause is limited, and it uses words such as epidemics, pandemics, governmental action, or similar words, then it may be easier to apply the clause in the coronavirus circumstances. If your contract does not have a force majeure clause, or it does not cover coronavirus, then it is still possible that another concept, frustration of contract, may apply. It's important to bear in mind that frustration of contract is more difficult to establish, as it requires that you prove that the contract has become impossible to perform, and that the contractual obligations are now radically different from what was originally contracted. So, for example, if your supply chain were to become permanently unavailable due to coronavirus, or all of your skilled employees became unavailable due to, say, illness or travel restrictions, then perhaps an argument for frustration could be made. contractual obligations. In these coronavirus times, careful and thorough consideration is key so as to avoid facing liability for breach of contract. <laughs>